So in one sense, not much has changed. Elijah still feels the same, and he's sent back in the direction from which he came. And yet there's something that draws me in the subtlety of this whole exchange here. The subtlety of the repetition of question and answer. Like maybe God doesn't need Elijah to experience some kind of drastic change, or like maybe even God doesn't need Elijah to stop complaining about all that's hard about his life. God is still God, whether Elijah changes or not, whether Elijah complains or not. And Elijah is still Elijah. What happens is simply that they meet. In the midst of all the commotion and the noise around them, they meet and they converse. Elijah is worn out, and so he eats, and he sleeps, and he feels what there is to feel, and he spends time looking for God. And God shows up not in the noise, but in silence. God doesn't fix all his problems or make his path somehow easier or better instantly and clearly. God doesn't show up in some dramatic, loud, visible way by crushing rocks or shaking the earth or burning like fire. All of those things happen, but God shows up in a different way. God simply gives him rest and food. God simply calls him by name. God simply shows up in what our translation says is sheer silence, or which can be translated, shows up in a gentle whisper or a still, small voice. God shows up that way. And then Elijah can go back. Then Elijah can go back to the work that God gives him to do, back to be with other people who can really use his perspective and his gifts even if his problems aren't resolved, even if he hasn't had a dramatic revelation. God and Elijah meet. In Elijah's despair, in his confusion, in his exhaustion, God offers him food and rest and a simple question. God gives him space apart from the commotion that has been the rest of There's a balance in this story between solitude and community, between self-care and community care. It's hard to care for others if we aren't cared for ourselves. It's hard to, do, to, to work for the healing of others if we aren't also working toward our own healing. And it doesn't have to be dramatic. 